What's going on, you guys? So since it's almost been about a month since Grand Tactician released the game at 1.0, uh, we had, a, I believe, one patch that came out since then to address some bugs. But I kind of wanted to go over the post-release roadmap. I might have done this before, but I kind of want to go over it again, mainly because we can kind of take a, a new look at where we're going with the game and uh, what things I think need to be addressed. So right off the bat, this game lived up to my expectations. Of course, you know, it's the greatest Civil War game strategy simulation ever made, period. There is no if, ands, or buts. It's just there, you know? Uh, so if you ever want to know what Civil War game you need to pick up, this is it. <laughs> but, uh, now, after I mentioned that, there are things that need to be improved uh, in the game. So the first thing uh, is the strategic uh, AI, right? Um, the one thing I've noticed playing an 1861 scenario is very easy to win. I won the war by, I think, like July, uh, took DC and all that. Uh, by July, I think I had like 68,000 soldiers and the Union had somewhere in the mid 40s. So definitely, you know, a bit of a difference there. Now, I wouldn't mind if you know there was a multiplayer section you know then they can spend you know they could take years working on the AI, strategic ai it wouldn't be that much of a uh concern for me you know uh but there is no multiplayer in the works all right so right now we're <laughs> somewhere around here it's funny because i always visit yorktown uh <laughs> so what is next? Uh, so it looks like release was September 24th. Then there's going to be rare weapons, which is going to be cool. Building options, that's going to be really cool. Uh, new maps, of course. Love the maps that they uh, included in the game. I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. I mean, it's just, ah, I love it. I love everything they did with the strategic and the tactical side of the game. It's just eye candy all over. Can't get enough of it. Visual improvements. This is where I think they can kind of say, all right, look, the game looks great. You know, it's, it's, I mean, I'm trying to think of a great movie. Uh, it's, you know, um, <laughs> I don't know, the, uh, let's just say The Martian, right? It, it looks beautiful to the eyes, right? I think they can hold off on this and then replace this with multiplayer. Because I think that's the part that needs to be at the forefront you know, in terms of work, right? Uh, because once multiplayer is implemented, right, you can take your time on a strategic AI. And the strategic AI is going to take time to get really, really good, you know? And that goes for every game, you know? Uh, most games that we all play, the AI is, you know, barely a challenge, right? In, in some cases, it's really good. But in most cases, it's, eh, it's okay you know, kind of thing. Multiplayer is where it's at, you know, because, uh, you know, what? who's better than an actual human player, right? So I think that needs to be on the, on the board right here. Uh, and then it says here, Avatar and Commanders. Um, not sure what they mean by this. Uh, I guess the, there's a lot of uh, commanders that have, that don't actually have, you know, like a, an avatar, I guess. I guess that's what they mean. Um, I, again, I'm not totally concerned about this. Uh, when a commander has like a question mark or whatever, you know, something that is not an actual person. I mean, yeah, it's like, oh, there's no person in that. It's not that big of a deal for me. Um, will they add it in the future? Yeah, that'd be great. But I think the strategic AI and the multiplayer should be at the forefront. Um yeah, so I, I mean, for me, I think that's the, the number one thing uh, because I remember playing the 1861 scenario being done and I was like, all right, well, I guess I'll wait until the AI gets a little bit better. Now, what I could have done if multiplayer is around right now, I could have said, hey, to my buddy Yanni and my buddy Bob and be like, hey, guys, I'm, I want you to play this game. I'll buy it for you. I want us to do a multiplayer session because I want to get a challenge going, you know, uh, but can't do that right now. Um, thankfully, one of uh, my viewers said, hey, start with like an 1864 scenario, one of the later campaigns. 
um, and you'll find much more of a challenge there. I definitely did, so thank you. Uh, but again, you know, multiplayer and that strategic AI needs to be, you know, needs to be um, at the forefront. You know, uh, everything else, you know, honestly, I keep trying to think of things to like find better in a game. Um, oh, one thing that I uh, uh, thought was they could add is I don't know if it was Ultimate General Gettysburg or if it was Scourge of War, but there was a, a, a game where like you will have your line firing, right? And they'll get close to like almost breaking, but like they're really on the stress. And there was like, um, uh, fall back option, but the way they would fall back is they would fire and take, you know, steps back, fire and take a steps back, you know, they wouldn't turn around and, you know, show their, you know, backs to the enemy and get slaughtered, uh, which has kind of happened to me a couple of times. I wish there was like a retreat while firing, while facing the enemy kind of thing, uh, but beyond that, I can't find anything else I want different in this game, you know? Honestly, everything is awesome. It's absolutely awesome. It's just, you know, the the map is gorgeous. The, you know, the uh, capabilities on the tactical side. The tactical AI, by the way, is really good. I, I like the tactical AI. It It's a challenge. So I, I appreciate their work on the tactical AI. Uh, but, yeah, this is, like I said... When this game was first announced, this is going to be the greatest Civil War game ever made. And it definitely won that title, hands down. Uh, but we just got to get that uh, AI uh, in there, uh, worked on. But in that meantime, multiplayer, man, multiplayer. Uh, also, you know, bugs, uh, I do notice there are bugs. But again, it's 1.0, so it's not that big of a deal. You know, with 1.0 everything, there's a bug. You know, um, but I noticed, like, I was fighting the Battle of the Wilderness here, and I was taking heavy losses. I inflicted more losses on the enemy, but um, I need my boys to li uh, fight another day, so I think it was over here. So I had them retreat, but after the battle ended, they decided to retreat south, this way, all the way down to the border of North Carolina, and I couldn't stop them. I sent orders out, stop, and they wouldn't stop. So I think that's a bug. I'm hoping it's a bug that they uh, correct. Uh, I hope it's not a, like a feature or part of the game. Um, but yeah, so overall, guys, this is one of the best games, not one, the best Civil War strategy game I've ever played. And my hat's off to the developers. Uh, you guys have become legends. So just sit back and enjoy. <laughs> Not really, actually, you know, get to work on the, <laughs> the uh, bugs and, uh, and the other stuff. But yeah, you guys have clinched the title. If there was a Nobel Prize for strategy game development, you guys would win. <laughs> All right, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Catch you guys in the next one. See you then.